Howdy folks, Larry Leroy Lawrence Lash coming at you from the farm. Uh, beautiful day out here, boy this fall weather just made me feel so good I want to get outside and do stuff, come out here talking with the chickens and messing with the dog. And, uh, I got the thing about Charlene, poor Charlene, she's stuck inside still, she's still got that ankle bracelet on and can't get out of, out of her trailer so I gathered up some eggs and took over there to Charlene and uh, Asked her how she's doing and all that, and kind of talked to her about what she's doing past time. And uh, she's working on a GoFundMe account for her aunt and uncle. And, well, you know, I had to ask, what's going on with your aunt and uncle? And it's, it's her uncle Rufus and, and uh, Miss Ida Jean. They're good people. They've been together. Oh, I guess they've been married for something years now. But anyway, turns out last week they saw one of them commercials on TV about getting the dentures made in one day. And, uh, they both needed dentures, so they hopped in the car and off Mount Carmel they went, you know, go get some dentures made over at the Dentures R Us place. And, uh, they got there and they got talking with them folks and uh, they didn't really think about everything, but with the handling fees and the taxes and this and that, they didn't have enough money for both of them to get a set. So bottom line, they ended up getting one set of dentures and decided they're going to share them. And, you know, old Mr. Rufus, fine fella, he's always been a real good fella and gentleman and all. And, he told Miss Miss Ida Jean that he'd uh, he'd wear them on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that way she'd get four days with the denture, and he'd only have three. And, and uh, that that worked out pretty good, I think. But uh, one day, a couple, two, or three days ago, Miss Ida Jean got mad at Mr. Rufus. And, uh, uh, we we think he done got in the corn mash again. He kind of likes to get in the corn mash, and she don't like it at all. Never has, but. Anyway, whatever it was, she got mad at him, and that evening for dinner, she handed him a plate and had two corn cobs on it and a green apple. And uh, she knew good and well without the teeth, he wasn't going to be able to eat that. And you know, he he kind of got mad about that, and she was fussing about what she was fussing about. And the next thing you know, she had them dentures out in her hands. She was clapping them at him, you know, just being smart alecky, letting him know that she had the teeth. And right about that time, the power went out and it went dark. Not really sure what happened next, but 10, 15 seconds later, when them lights come back on, they was 32 teeth just laying all over the kitchen floor. And, uh, them two ain't hardly spoke to each other since, and it's kind of causing a stink. You know, we, we count on them two to do a lot of talking in the Sunday school lesson on, on Sunday, and uh, if they ain't talking, uh, we, it's going to get cut short. But anyway, uh, we got a GoFundMe account out there to help. Uh, Mr. Rufus and Miss Ida Jean get them some more dentures. So if you can feel it in your heart to donate a little money, you know we we sure would appreciate it. And, and uh, I, re I reckon everybody needs to take a lesson from this. You know, if you can't afford two pair of dentures, then you know just don't buy any. Just just wait and save your money because that getting one pair and, and trying to share that don't seem to work out. Uh, he made my dog mad. You heard my dog barking about it. And the chickens they agree with me. Ain't no, ain't no sense just getting one pair. So, anyway, I hope this helps somebody, you know, and uh, just just remember, get, get two pair of dentures. Don't just get one. And, and uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel here and, and get this good uh, good advice and information uh, on a regular basis, you go ahead and do so. But until then, I'll see you next time.